Hi guys and welcome to another pregnancy update. We are currently in actually the very end of the 35th week. I know the last, I think it was the last update that I did kind of like a two in one update. So this is gonna be another one. This week we are talking about what has been going on for the past two weeks. It's really crazy that I have pretty much four weeks left. I cannot believe how quickly the time has gone. I feel like a lot has happened, but at the same time, well, obviously a lot has happened, but at the same time, I don't know, I feel like that went by so fast. Although we've known since the very, very beginning. So when I stop and think about it, it's been a long time. Okay, so at 34 weeks, baby was the size of a sev Savoy cabbage. I don't know, I guess it's one of those bigger cabbages. And the baby was pretty much just growing and growing and growing. Now at 35 weeks, baby is a bunch of carrots and I am using the Ovia app. I know I always talk about this and I always make a disclaimer, this is not sponsored. I just personally like this app the best along with the Glow Nurture app. I just feel like it's the easiest to use. I use the Ovia app more, <laughs> she's like digging her foot on the side. I use the Ovia app more just because it's quick and I like to refresh it and a new kind of blurb comes down and tells me what's going on for the day. And I do like the Glow Nurture app for their community and like discussion boards. That one I actually have used and I haven't mentioned it at all and I'm sorry, but I like the Glow app. They have a community section where you can look through and there's just different discussion boards, like I said, for like new moms, product recommendations, questions, general pregnancy, things like that. So that I really like because with any sort of questions and things like that, I like going on there, posting it and hearing feedback from other moms. Anyway, that's a little random, but the Ovia app and the Glow Nurture app are my two go-tos. It just tells you what's going on every day. As of now, it says the baby's kind of just like lowering herself, getting into position. The last sonogram that we did go to, she was head down, which I'm hoping she's still in that position. I think I've read that usually the baby stays in that. I think there are rare cases where the baby does flip after and then they're breached. So I'm hoping since she was head down, she's gonna stay down. Basically what's been happening is just getting everything as prepared as we can be. TJ and I are super excited. I always say that. TJ and I are just basically as just preparing as much as we can with what we can do. All of last week, I definitely was craving a lot of protein. All I wanted were like grilled chicken sandwiches or grilled chicken wraps. I did still want like the carb in there, but I really wanted just a lot of protein. I also wanted steak. It's pretty funny how your body just knows what it needs. So I feel like since my body knows that labor will be coming soon-ish, I don't know, maybe it's like wanting to load up on the protein for like my muscles and all of that. and. But I still want the carbs because that'll give me energy. I don't know. This is what I'm telling myself at least. This week also I have been wanting more of like just grilled chicken, anything with chicken or some sort of protein. But I've also been really, really wanting sweets. My appetite definitely has gone up significantly and I feel like I blew up. I have been carrying small this whole pregnancy and generally carrying pretty low and just... In the past couple of weeks, I just feel like I got enormous and it's probably just me, but a lot of people are like, oh, you grew a lot and I did. I mean, I'm growing a human, but it's, it's hard. I can see how people can gain a ton of weight if they have this type of appetite the whole time, but I think it just has to be, has to do with a lot of self-control and I'm trying <laughs> but I've just been super hungry all the time. But it's also hard because there is not a lot of room. I definitely am having a hard time breathing. It's really hard at night, especially. There are times where I'm just like taking deep breaths and especially after I eat, it's just really difficult for me to breathe. There is not a lot of room in there. And 
TJ gets concerned and he wants to make sure I'm okay, but it's it's really just that there's no room. I guess my lungs can only expand so much, but I'm feeling good still. Definitely the past couple of weeks, I, I'm feeling it. I'm definitely feeling it more. Thankfully, this pregnancy has been great. The first four months were hard with the morning sickness and then things were good. Now it's like we're in the home stretch we, and I totally feel it. I'm feeling a lot of pressure. I'm feeling a lot of like the Braxton Hicks still where like the belly just tightens up. Just yesterday, I did have some light cramping, so I'm like being mindful with that. I am getting also more tired. I have been working every day since the beginning of my pregnancy. And recently I am giving myself days off on purpose instead of hoping for a day off when I don't have clients. I've, I've been giving myself days off and I definitely need it. I've also been trying not to book myself back to back. That's something that's a little hard for me because I like to get as many of my clients in as possible and I've just been needing breaks depending on what I'm doing. For those of you who don't know, I have my own hair studio. If I have days that are easy, sometimes that's fine. Then I'll have clients back to back. But when I have longer appointments, it does get hard, especially when I'm standing for all those hours. So I'm trying to give myself time in between clients to sit. I'm still drinking a lot of water. Some days I drink a lot more than others, but I'm definitely trying to just keep on top of that. And I'm just bringing snacks with me. I have been trying to stay active. I have not worked out this pregnancy, not nearly as much as I would have liked to, but just the past couple of days, I've done some light little exercises with TJ. It does help, you know, when he's working out and I'll do a little circuit also, but I definitely have to take it easy now. But little things here and there are helpful, especially getting ready for, you know, labor and stuff. I mean, they call it labor for a reason. It will be a lot of work, I'm sure, and I want to be physically able to handle it. So thankfully, I do have good endurance and I was super active before pregnancy. I wish I maintained that lifestyle while pregnant, but whatever things happen our baby's putting on some weight she's moving a whole lot especially at night i do feel like sometimes she's lowering herself and getting ready but i do like feeling her move we've started setting things up we have like the bassinet ready we actually did order a crib and we got it in however we didn't set it up yet because we don't have a ton of space, so we wanna keep it as practical and spacious as possible, but we're definitely getting into organizing mode. TJ's helping a lot because he wants to be, as like I said, as prepared as possible. So he wants to kind of get things together and organize. I felt this here and there, but yesterday it hit me big time, and that's nesting. Nesting is totally a thing. It definitely is a thing. It's not just something people say, it happens. Last night I was so tired and I just knew I had so much to do. Things that didn't need to be done right away, but I just was in like organizing mode. I looked through all of my clothes and I have bags for donations and shoes and clothes that I'm just gonna give away organize my stuff and then I started organizing the baby stuff and putting her things away but then I realized I need to wash her clothes because we got a ton of stuff which we're so grateful for. I did. I went in and I washed all her clothes that she will probably fit into from the very beginning and tonight I'll probably wash some of her bigger clothes and I washed her blankets and we're putting things away and organizing so I really didn't want to do any of that, but I did want to do it at the same time. And that is, it has to be nesting because I hate doing that stuff. I really don't like it. I don't know, something came over me and I was just into like super, I don't know, organizing mode and cleaning and definitely not anywhere near where I want to be. But I'm like, 
I have so much that needs to be done and she's going to be here soon. So something definitely took over me and I'm getting ready, I guess. Yeah, I think it's just a good feeling knowing that like her clothes are washed and clean and ready to go. TJ and I will be installing our car seats. We did get two car seats, have two cars, and I know you can just switch car seats, but we thought it would be easier just to have one in each car and one I think one of the car seats is meant to hold up to a little bit larger of a weight so I think one that came with our travel system holds up to 35 pounds and the other one holds 40 pounds so it's not that significant but it seemed a little bit safer especially for TJ so he wanted to get both and we did thankfully I can let you guys know if you want to like once we set it up, if you guys would like to see which travel system we chose, why we chose it, and how we're installing everything. We started getting things for my hospital bag. I don't have my bag itself. I'm gonna look through, because I feel like I have to have some random big bag that I can just get instead of buying something. But we did start getting certain things for me, toiletries and slippers, things like that. Uh, my mom bought me some pajamas and there are other things that I need to pick up. So I will probably be making a what's in my hospital bag video if you guys wanna take a look or keep an eye out for that. If you guys are wondering what you wanna bring, again, this is the first time for me, so this is all new for me, but I'm just taking information from everyone and using it and just seeing what I think I'll need. That's pretty much it. It's just kind of like crunch time and preparing and waiting. So, so far things are good. Things are really good. I'm up, I think, a total of 25 pounds from my original starting weight, which the last time I checked at least, which isn't bad. I think that's pretty good. and. I'm probably going to be gaining a couple more pounds within the next four and a half weeks, but I think I'm doing okay. I just need to maintain and keep this appetite under control. So I'm sorry that this is another like two in one, but I just lost track of time and figured I'd just fill you in both weeks anyway. Oh, another thing that I did mention in my last update was as far as like swelling i don't have significant swelling i think in the last video i mentioned that i felt like kind of puffy in my hands and i do feel that more now now i don't know if that's anything concerning i know it just happens in general thankfully it's nothing nothing too bad where i feel like i need to call the doctor or anything it just kind of feels puffy and i feel it mostly in my hands sometimes my feet too but I'm really surprised that I my feet haven't like blown up, especially because I'm standing basically for like 10 hours a day. That's the update for this week. I will see you guys next week and I will show you my belly before I go, my growing belly. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. I hope that you guys are enjoying these little updates and maybe this is kind of helping you and kind of comparing where you're at, where I'm at. This is all new to me, so I don't know. It's all very exciting. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel to keep up with these little bum dates. If you did enjoy this, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you guys are going through if you're going through something like this as well. Again, thank you so much, and as always, be sure to stay happy.